Okay, so we've made it to Kalundriabad. Wow, if you want to see how we got here, an adventure on itself, check Chris's channel. I'm glad we made it safely, but we were here, and it's like chapli kebab, like almost like a black hole because this whole street is aligned with chapli kebab shops. You got here the fresh markets, the aroma guavas are just ripening, and the people are pretty darn friendly. All right, so I do believe we're at the oldest one. If you want to find it, it's like right across from the mosque up on the uphill somewhere around here. It's the oldest, one of the most famous here in uh, Karatabad. Did I say it right? Kalandrabad. Kalandrabad. I knew I, said, I felt like I said it wrong. But it's closed today and tomorrow. Unfortunately, we don't have time to stick around. So we're going to go to what everybody's been coming around talking to us. We've been asking them, where should we eat? They sent us to another one. So we're going to head there right now. Now, even though Badu was closed, they led us to Nihazi, and I tell you what, it looks just as popular. They are cranking out the chapli kebabs. So he's actually working with ghost right here, which would be the mutton. You see, look how vibrant and red it is. You can see the fat mixed into it, the chunks of protein with that, that, that color of red. It's just gorgeous. He's pulling it off, mixing what he needs. It's almost a little, it's not chutney, but it's just a water spice mixture. He's pushing and binding into the meat. And this, if you're going to run Shepley Kebab, you got to have a non-shop in the house. That's like the rules here in Pakistan. And then they're doing a couple other dishes over here as well, over some high heat. I found you. Sorry. Chris is upset because they're trying to give us a police escort every city we go, and Chris loves his freedom. And we are back in the room. It kind of echoes. It's small. Uh, it looks like they almost used to do the cooking back here, the way the, the walls are almost like they got smoke damage to it. But we just got a couple of chapli kebabs because we want to stay a little bit lighter on our stomach. We got a lot of traveling to do because Chris does not want this police escort. We got to move. We got to get out of here. Sorry. So the cool thing is you can see all those spices in here. Look at that. I like that everything gets a bath in that animal fat. I'm going to assume he's using the mutton for the fat as well to fry these up. So hot. But look at that tear. Looks just like a nice crispy little hamburger patty, doesn't it? But it's going to be that flavorful and more. Break off a little piece. Of the chapli kebab and then into the chutney. You see, it looks almost like it's got green chili, tomato, and that. A little acidic water. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, I got that. I'm pretty good. Yeah. I like that fry on there. It's good. I love the fry. The mutton's so fresh. And the way he's minced it's very unique. But, Peshawar still takes it. I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you who the MVP is. The people of Pakistan. Walking through the streets, they see me sweating. They say, oh, you look like an omwala. Well, here's some om. Is that what they said? No, but it's funny, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if he's gonna give that green chili some love, I gotta do as well. Ooh, that's where I screwed up. You don't just want the chapli kebab. You gotta get those green chilies and tomato that have been in that oil as well. I like when they fry it deep in that. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of oil, but it really just creates that crust. You get the difference in texture. And what I always like to see is you got that owner right here, still cranking out, doing the hard work, over here sweating for 35 years. So you just love to see it, just get you excited for a spot. And you see the owner still so passionate about his spot. Yo, sorry, we had to sprint out of there, kind of get out of that uh, city, uh, grab a bus real quick. If you wanna see what happened, head over to Chris's channel, but we are gonna keep it going. We're about to grab another little van and head to Muzaffarabad. We're in Monsadara right now, which is deep in KPK, but we're only here like two seconds because he's about to help us find our bus because there's a an abundance to pick from. Find buses anywhere in Pakistan. 
We are packed and we are heading to Mets Photobot. I'll catch you there. Okay, we made it to Muzaffarabad. It's really hard for me to say. I've butchered every city name today. Look at the mountains in the background. This place is something like from your dream, something you wouldn't expect with Pakistan, or at least, well, that sounds bad, you should, because Pakistan is this. So sweet, we got checked in and everything. You wanna see that video is on the second channel, I'll put a link here. But um, we didn't really know where to eat, haven't done really any research. We asked the people, they told us to go to quit the house because we just went like a little chai and uh, parata, but it was closed. So we just kind of followed the smoke. We saw this place look popular, it had smoke and a lot of lights. We decided to stop here and order a couple dishes. Guess who brought their light? Power just went out. Man, seeing that Kabuli Palau, I think we may have made a steak. That looked awesome. You can get a little variety on the grill here. They got the chicken tikka. They got some liver with some fat on there. They got the seek kebab. Good. <laughs> Tell you the truth, Chris and I might have gotten lucky. This place looks pretty darn good, and it's funny how your your sixth sense for food goes off in just some places when you see it. I think we hit hit a good spot tonight. Uh, let's actually start with the kima fry here. Check this out. Green chili potatoes. You can see the red chili as well. I mean that slurry of sauce. I'm sure they just threw that all in with some ghee, dried spice masala mixture. I'll do the Chris grip. That's got like chili vibes to it. You get the ground mixed meat mixture. I don't really feel like it's, it's mutton or anything like that because I don't have a real gamey feel to this but then you get the potatoes, you get the spiciness, it fills your mouth. On a cool night in the valley here, in Mazaparabad, it's perfect. Get the coriander in there too. That's, that's good. It's not so strong. I didn't think that the masala flavor is not crazy strong. That's, that's not what I was expecting. I think Chris and I had to get a vegetable when we haven't eaten a vegetable, if it hasn't come in a curry like, or a dried spice since we've been in Pakistan. I mean, the little salads on the sides, that's about all we've had. And Chris and I felt like after a chupli kebab, we need a little vegetable, so we just got a little vegetable curry mixture one. Green chilies ain't an option here, it's a way of life. What is that, Chris? Uh, I forgot the name. Me too. <laughs> it's a sweet. Like a biscuit. Wow. I'm really not sure how to do this, but nobody's staring at me like a crazy person. It kind of feels like a stale, dry flour biscuit. It is nice in the chai. There's just a touch of spice in there, like a cardamom, just enough sugar, but you really gotta dip it in something. Don't try to eat that without your chai or something, or you're gonna be sucking all that moisture out your mouth. Chris, I thought that was not bad find. That was pretty good. That's pretty good for just walking out, and it's like a lot of stuff is closed. Just have to be open. Yeah. We were just like, there's like three shops, and we have to pick this one. Yeah. I think we chose. And Chris like, asked him, they've been open 30 years, so clearly reputable. I, I mean, like I said, when you're late night and you're tired, that was a good find. Good find. Now onto smoothies.
Chris and I were going to do a smoothie, but then we had juices, and we were walking to the pharmacy to grab some stuff. Ice cream all the way. You had ice cream machine. How are you supposed to walk past the ice cream machine when you finish all your main meals for the day? You can't. Look how good the picture looks. It's against the law. Oh. Ho ho. Get another one? There's a big as your head. Yeah, get another one for me. He gave me sprinkles, dog. No, <laughs> Look at this. It's as big as my head. Well, <laughs> this would be like a funny thumbnail. <laughs> Not my thumbnail. Never with Chris in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. You. I'm not vanilla. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's like Pakistani style. You like order. He's like, no, this. <laughs> like vanilla. Pakistani style. <laughs> I think he actually gave me the mango. Yeah. No, I'm vanilla. Why is it so yellow? Oh, it's a sprinkle. Uh, and not vanilla melted. flavor. Yeah. But it still doesn't taste vanilla. It's like it's a, a fruity vanilla. It's a fruity vanilla. Yeah, we're going to end that here. That was fun. I hope you all enjoyed this crazy travel food day. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're going to move it on. Catch you at the next one. Peace. I love this.